Well, good morning, happy Monday, happy post-Christmas, uh, happy welcome back to the Minor Prophets. Um, we are uh, looking at these 12 books, these 12 short books uh, that many people skip over because they're heavy, a little doom and gloom, they're, uh, uh, they've got difficult names, they're, they're brief, and we just often don't get around to them. But they tend to be very important books. They're, uh, they're very relevant, sort of ripped from the headlines level of relevance, and they're helpful. They're written to people who have turned their backs on God and are getting called back. So if you have ever turned your back on God and are getting called back, this is the book for you. So Hosea, which we're going to be in for the most of this week, Hosea is the first of the 12 books. And uh, it's, it's short, it's a bit bizarre, <laughs> and a little bit scandalous. So I don't know if you have thought about uh, groupies lately. Groupies are sort of by definition people who pay attention to people who don't pay attention to them. Uh, they're, they're not considered all that valuable, but they, uh, they tend to stick around and they get made fun of. Um, uh, I'm not sure who, um, lots of teenage girls tend to famously be groupies for boy bands. I'm not sure the name of boy bands right now it used to be, you know, Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and Jonas Brothers and the Justins. Uh, Timberlake and Bieber had big followings, and um, if you're older and you tend to look down on those, uh, maybe it was Richard Marks or Donny Osmond, I have no idea. And, and men certainly uh, play the groupie in a sense. There was a lot of, when I was growing up, a lot of Farrah Fawcett posters sold. Um, some people paying attention to someone who was not paying attention to them. And, it, and then professional athletes. Lots of men know everything about professional athletes who know nothing about them. So, look, my goal isn't to make fun of anybody today. It's not to make fun of groupies. It's actually to do something a little shocking, which is in keeping with the nature of the book of Hosea. And that's to suggest that uh, God acts like a groupie in this book. And uh, he is paying attention to you. He's paying attention... The point is he's paying attention to you even when you're not paying attention to him. And he does so in a rather scandalous way. So Hosea is this, again, short book, 14 small chapters, written 700 years before Christ. This is 200 years after the nation of Israel has split. So after David and Solomon when it was united, then it splits. You get the northern 10 tribes and the southern two tribes. The northern 10 tribes are called Israel. Uh, and their capital is uh, Samaria, and, uh, and they're, all their kings are bad. And so Hosea is going to prophesy during one of the worst kings, Jeroboam II. And, uh, and he is famously going to be called by God and be given this really shocking assignment. I'm reading Hosea chapter 1, verse 2. When the Lord first spoke through Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go and take for yourself a wife of whoredom, some translations now say a promiscuous wife or an unfaithful wife or a wife that's a harlot or a wife that's an adulterer, uh, but to take a wife uh, that is sleeping around and have children uh, with her, for the land commits great whoredom by forsaking the Lord. So Hosea went and took Gomer, the daughter of Diblaim, and she conceived and bore him a son." So, um, so Hosea is responding to this call of God. He takes this woman named Gomer, and that's not the worst thing about her, um, and he marries her, and they have a son. And then um, he is going to have two other, uh, she's going to almost immediately become unfaithful, and he's going to have two other children uh, by her. And uh, one of them is going to be a girl called Not Loved, and the, the third one is going to be a boy called Not My People, which suggests that perhaps these kids are not, uh, not his. And by the way, if you're looking for biblical names for your kids, or f f biblical names, I, don't go to the book of Hosea. Right? Gomer, not a good name for a woman. And uh, you probably don't want to name your children Not Loved and Not My People. But, um, but what happens is, is that is that God calls Hosea to marry Gomer. And she is true to form. She remains unfaithful. And uh, she leaves him. And God calls 
Hosea to remain faithful to her even though she's not being faithful to him. And you can imagine the scandal. He's the prophet of God and his wife is out sleeping around with other people. And you can imagine people saying to him, leave her, right? She's no good. She's, she's treating you like dirt. Walk away, walk away. And God says, no, 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 remain faithful. And so there's, a, there's going to be a, series, a step in the book where Hosea, excuse me, where Gomer is going to be um, selling herself and, uh, and she's going to start to drop in value and, uh, and she's not going to be, have enough money to survive and Hosea is quietly going to go and give money to other men <laughs> to give money to Gomer. And then uh, she's going to fall and she's going to be um, picked up, sort of bought by a man who beats her. And Hosea is going to give this guy money. And uh, then when she is sold, she's now being disposed of. She's being stripped naked and sold on a block. He buys her back. But the message from God is you buy her back and then you treat her like your wife and you love her and you care for her. And this is un unthinkable, <laughs> not the stuff that people expect to find in the Bible, but the point is clear. You are Gomer, I am Gomer, and Hosea is playing the role of God. God is loving us even when we are not loving him, even when we are treating him in a scandalous way, even when we are treating him like, a, like he's a groupie. It's a shocking, scandalous story uh, that we're going to be unpacking the rest of this week.